Zoom Zoom. You feel it. And with extra value now at Mazda, it's time to own it. Go for Mazda CX-3 Neo from 22490 Drive Away, plus a $500 Go bonus. It's time to go. Sates Family Butcher, across the road from Swan Hill Library, with the meat you can eat. Mix FM News. Part of the Ace Radio Network, 107.7 and 98.7 Mix FM. 15 degrees in Melbourne, partly cloudy, a top today, 21. 9 o'clock, good morning. I'm David Armstrong. A protest that has halted operations at an abattoir in the state's north has now entered its 10th hour. As many as 30 animal activists are at Benalla Abattoir. Some have chained themselves to the gas chamber, which is used to paralyse pigs. Mo from the Farm Transparency Project says they want an inquiry into the use of gas chambers and for the practice to be banned. These gas chambers are horrendous. They're said to be industry's most humane way to slaughter pigs. And it's not humane. You just need to see the footage to know. The police union slammed the decision to abolish public drunkenness laws on Melbourne Cup Day. An independent panel set up by the government has recommended that the offence be abolished. A dedicated sober up centre to be created. Tender documents suggesting health services can expect at least 500 cases a month. But Wayne Gant from the Police Association says Cup Day is a very poor choice to begin the new system. Perhaps it would be the best time to test out the new laws, of course, if you were ready. Um, but as we see, the government is in the process of um, floating loose and vague tender uh, documents at this stage which indicate they're nowhere near ready. Cafe owner Meg Anderson's been receiving threatening messages and phone calls in response to a planned children's craft and games event hosted by drag queens. The now cancelled event was to be hosted at Alice Rebels Cafe in Chelsea. Members of an online forum were found to be discussing ways to track the drag queens to their residence. Ms Anderson says they had actually made the decision to postpone the event a few weeks prior, given the current social climate. And then we accidentally let it go live on our socials. We hadn't turned it off. And within five minutes of the post going live on a Saturday afternoon, I was copying hate messages through Instagram and Facebook. I dropped the event. I took it off of Facebook. The state's peak construction body fears more industry pain is on the way, with the revelation around 100 Victorian building businesses have gone under in the first three months of this year. Master Builders Victoria is predicting a 24.4% reduction in detached home and higher density building activity compared to last year. A criminologist and former detective says the search for missing Brisbane retired school teacher Leslie Tr Trotter could take weeks. Police are sifting through rubbish at two landfill sites as part of their probe into the 78-year-old suspicious death. Direct Dr Terry Goldsworthy says it is a mammoth task. This will be a fairly lengthy search uh, and it'll take a long time and it'll take a long, lot of resources to get through there to adequately check to make sure they uh, can try and find uh, this lady's body or do their best efforts to do so. Donald Trump is suing his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, for more than $740 million. Alison Petrowski reports. The former U.S. president's legal team filed the federal lawsuit in a district court in Florida, alleging Cohen breached his attorney-client relationship by spreading falsehoods and violated a confidentiality agreement. The lawsuit comes one week after Donald Trump pleaded not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records in relation to hush money payments made in the lead-up to the 2016 election. Michael Cohen is the key witness in that case. However, Trump's team claims this new complaint has nothing to do with the Manhattan indictment. In the United States, Alison Petrowski, Nine News. Sport for Harvey Norman Swan Hill. Collingwood's Mason Cox says he expects to have another scan next week. Try and determine how his recovery from a spleen injury is going. Cox is still on complete rest. He says he doesn't know when he will return. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll get a scan probably next week. A uh, bit of internal bleeding, which is not great for football. It's a pretty serious, I guess, injury with an internal organ kind of having a bit of an issue. But um, hopefully sooner rather than later, I haven't been able to do too much. So it's kind of frustrating as an athlete not be able to do your job and be able to do any kind of athletic things at the moment. Carlton Sam Walsh to play his first game of the season against Adelaide tonight to kick off the gather round. And in soccer, Champions League quarterfinals, Real Madrid beat Chelsea 2-0, AC Milan has beaten Napoli 1-0. Five past nine, and that's the latest news in sport.
Thursday Porterhouse Nights or enjoy Thursday Palmer Nights with friends and family. It's your place, your space, your Swan Hill RSL. Coran Plumbing and Pumps, your Davy Pumps master dealer and for all general plumbing. Mix FM local news. Holly King with your local news headlines. Due to Victoria's big build works, coaches will be replacing Swan Hill Line trains between Southern Cross and Bendigo starting today until April 21st. Travellers are being told to allow an additional 60 minutes travel time. And in local sport, following a revoked exemption to not field an A-grade netball team last year, Kerrang Football and Netball Club is in a much better position as we head into the Central Murray League's first round this weekend. New coach Chloe Adams says the team's been working hard in preparation for round one. The girls kind of hadn't done a pre-season before this one, I suppose. They kind of started just a couple of weeks out from the season usually, but I can't fault the girls in terms of the way they've applied themselves for these last few months, and I think it's really built that hunger for the season to start, you know, actually putting in that hard work. And that's your local news headlines. Ace Radio's digital team can now design and develop a new website for your business. From simple sites to full online stores, Head to ace.digital. At Noel Watson Real Estate, we sell. The Great Australian Squeeze. Pure, fresh orange juice. Grown, squeezed and bottled in Barham. Sold in Woolies, most local IGAs and food works. Mix FM weather. Your four-day forecast for the Mallee. Today, cloudy with light winds and a fire danger rating of moderate. Tomorrow, the chance of some fog in the morning, a mostly sunny afternoon, light winds and 25 degrees. The forecast for Saturday, cloudy, high chance of showers, light winds and 19. And Sunday, partly cloudy, chance of showers and 18. Today around the Mallee, we're heading for a top of 22. Take it to the next level. Test drive the new Holt Mitsubishi Pajero Sport today. LMC T235. Currently, it's 15 degrees. 